These are the peak Lou Williams Street Ball Master Outdoor Basketball Shoes. I'm Tony. Welcome back to Street Ball Strategies. Zoom, zoom, out of space. Legendary every legendary flow. Sold out gear, sold out shows. You ain't here, let the record show. Biggest in the game to the same, y'all already know. For those of you who are new to the channel, who may have just stumbled across this channel because of this specific shoe review, let me make this clear that this is not a basketball shoe review channel. This is a basketball advice channel where occasionally I venture into topics like shoe or basketball reviews. But I don't know anything about basketball shoes. I'm not a sneakerhead. I'm not a basketball shoe reviewer. If you came here looking for specific things like the upper and the lower and the sole and the colorways and all that technical kind of stuff, I don't have that for you. I don't know anything about that stuff. This is purely an anecdotal review about how the shoes feel and how do they perform. That being said, let's get to the review. Also, let me point out that I probably don't have the same needs as you when it comes to basketball shoes because I am not an active competitive player currently. I am a retired player who only comes out here to the park maybe three or four times a week for about usually by myself for about 30 to 45 minutes at a time and when I'm looking for basketball shoes I have three main things that I have in mind when I'm selecting my shoes in order those categories go performance feel and fit and how do they look now when I say performance what I mean specifically is do the shoes do what I want and need them to do when I say these are a basketball tool I mean exactly that, literally that, in that these are a conduit for my earned skills and abilities out here on the court to translate to my ability and mobility to move around the court. That is exactly how I view them. Nothing more, nothing less. They are a tool, but they are not a fashion accessory. So when it comes to performance, I'm looking for these shoes to be a translation of my mind to the pavement of what exactly I want my legs and my feet to do. These shoes have to be able to translate exactly what I'm thinking in my mind and put that into the pavement exactly. If they don't do that for me, these are not the right shoes for me. In terms of fit and feel, how do these shoes feel? How do I want them to feel? What I mean is I, I actually don't want to feel them right i want these shoes to feel like they are part and one of my foot i don't want to notice them on my feet at all i want them to disappear to feel like i'm not wearing shoes at all i say that i want that because i am a basketball minimalist meaning part of being a minimalist is that i don't want distractions i want to minimize every single possible distraction there is regardless of how small and minute they may be and if I can notice and feel these shoes on my feet while I'm wearing them while that's not a big huge distraction while that's not going to interfere with your game to any noticeable degree there's still a tiny little distraction there of like oh yeah I'm wearing shoes I have them on my feet like I don't want to have that thought at all I just want these shoes to be one with my feet for them to disappear so I never have to think about the shoes that I'm wearing that's what I'm looking for when I say fit and feel of shoes and then in terms of how they look that being the third thing that I look for in a shoe is not really like are they impressive or anything like that or you know do you recognize you know the NBA player that wears the shoes what I mean is when I look at these shoes, whether they be on a shelf or on my feet, do I look at them and think, that's, that's my personality. Like I, I, the way these shoes look, do I identify with them in terms of my personality, in terms of my game? That's important to me because I can then forge a psychological uh, bond with these shoes, right? It's kind of playing a game with yourself where like, when I wear these shoes, I feel like a basketball player. Not only do I feel like a basketball player, 
I feel like the kind of basketball player I am in here translated to these that make contact with the court. It's kind of a hippie way to look at it, but I, for me at least, it's important and it works and it makes me feel good when I look at the shoes and I go, yep, that's me. That's, that's the way I feel. That's the kind of game I have. That's what I mean when I say the way the shoes look are important to me. So let's break down these shoes specifically along those three categories, starting with the way they look. Now, of course, this is going to be something that's individual to each player. For me, they look fine. You know, they're, they're, they're good enough, they're close enough to what I would say is like, it, it's close enough for me as far as like, I guess this is kind of my personality. I guess this is kind of my, my game. If I were to kind of identify my personality and my game in a shoe in terms of the way it looks, this is close enough. If I were younger, back in my competitive days, I would probably be much more critical about trying to find exactly the right shoe to exactly symbolize my personality and my game. But now that I'm retired, it's it's good enough. It's close enough. I do like the way it looks, you know, even if, you know, taking away that self-identity part of it. I do like the way they look. Not great, but, but pretty good. I, I do enjoy their style. When it comes to fit and feel, what I will say is that the fit of these shoes are very good. I like to think of it as like a seal, how they kind of seal to your foot, right? Because again, I enjoy that sort of feeling of the shoe being one with your foot so that they kind of disappear on your feet. These shoes don't do that. They don't, you, you feel them when you're wearing them. You know that they're there, you're aware of them, but at least they're not distracting. At least they're not uncomfortable. Uh, there's nothing negative about the way they feel. They just don't exactly disappear on my foot and I, I don't forget about them the way I would like to, but that's okay because at least they are not distracting. At least they are not uncomfortable. If a pair of shoes are not going to disappear on your feet, what I would secondly uh, prefer would be that I feel them sort of adhere and, and, and hug and get that seal on my foot so that they at least feel like they're one and the same with my foot. The, you really need a good you know, natural fit in order for that to happen and these happen to have that. So I am happy with the way they feel on my feet. A caveat I will add, and this is something that's only personal for me, it very well may not apply to you, is I do not like or feel like I need to have an ankle support uh, on these shoes to be so high. Again, I'm a basketball minimalist. So for example, I don't like to wear shirts that have sleeves on them because when I move my shoulders, when I flex my shoulders and move them around, I don't want sleeves here like restricting the, the movement of my shoulders, especially because of a jump shot. Like your jump shot can be so fragile when you get into different situations. Like if you're shooting on the move, like you wanna have a, a very, the most consistent jump shot you possibly can. And if you have material on your shoulders, even if it's just, you know, cotton sleeves, which actually don't make a huge difference, it's psychological that you have material there that's possibly restricting slightly the way your shoulders move. For me, the same thing would apply to my ankles. I move and flex my ankles when I run and play, and I don't want anything touching them if I don't feel like I need it. Fortunately for me, I've never had any real ankle problems. My ankles are strong and yet flexible, so I don't really feel like I need extra ankle support. I would, I would prefer that these shoes were like low cut shoes, but the fact that they do have this ankle support is not a bad thing. It doesn't distract me. It just, I just wish it wasn't there so that I didn't ever have to notice it. This ankle support does make my ankles feel more secure when I have them laced up, when I'm running around, when I'm cutting, when I'm stopping, you know, I can really feel the support in the ankles. So that's a good thing if you're the kind of person who likes that or wants that or needs that, you do feel like you have ankle support. But for me, uh, personally, specifically, individually, I just, I don't, 
I don't really like it, I don't really need it, but it's not a knock against these shoes. It's just individual needs and wants. Now, most importantly for how do these shoes perform, I'm gonna use a word, right, and I want you to keep in mind that when I say this word, I mean it in nothing but positive terms because in our current day vernacular, this word is associated with negativity. When I use this word, I only mean good positive things for these shoes. That word is basic. These are basic basketball shoes in the very best way possible. By basic, I mean that there's nothing luxurious, fancy, over the top, uh, high tech about these shoes. These are just basic basketball shoes and by basic I mean they do exactly what you think, want, and expect them to do. When you look at these shoes and you think about how they may perform for you, that's exactly what you get from these shoes. Nothing more, nothing less. For example, with my newest running shoes, the Under Armour Velocity Flow Special Edition running shoes. Those shoes, when you wear them, when you put them on, when you accelerate, you feel like you're cheating. It feels like somehow those shoes are on some kind of running shoe steroids because you should not be able to accelerate as effortlessly as you can in those shoes. The construction and technology they put in those shoes allows those shoes to have that weird sort of over the top feeling. Those shoes also come with a over the top, in my opinion at least, price tag. Whereas these shoes, right, they don't have any thing about them like those shoes. These are very basic basketball shoes and they come in at a very basic price to match. In July of 2022, these shoes can be purchased for $70. I bought these shoes on Amazon. If you would like to buy these shoes on Amazon and get the exact same shoes that I have, make sure you follow and click on my affiliate links down in the description and comments of this video. The reason I tell you to do that is because I bought these shoes on Amazon. They were $70. Amazon gave me an instant coupon to get a random $17 off of these shoes, I paid $53 for these shoes. Because of that, I'm very satisfied with that price uh, and because of the fact that they are very basic in terms of performance, they do exactly what I want and need for them to do. Uh, the price reflects that and I would be very willing to pay that price again, even at the $70 price, when I eventually will need to replace these shoes. That brings me to durability. In terms of durability, I would assume that these shoes would last at least a couple years. For me, they're gonna last four or five years because I use them at moderate frequency at best. But for you as an active competitive player, I would say you could get at least a couple years out of these shoes. You could expect to pay $70 to replace every couple years if that's the kind of wear and tear you put on these shoes I would say that's a good price to pay and I would be willing to repeatedly pay that price every couple years maybe every year if these shoes allow me to play the way I want and need them to out here on the court so overall very happy very satisfied with these shoes that is my review of the Peak Lou Williams Street Ball Outdoor Basketball Shoes. What I would say overall is that these shoes are functional and basic. You pay a functional yet basic price for the shoes. You get exactly what you want and expect out of these shoes. And you will not be disappointed when you look at these shoes and if you think to yourself, these look like good shoes, like the kind of shoes that I would want to have for myself, you will not be disappointed in them. Also, let me point out that for you younger, newer, beginner players, please, please start out basic. Do not get the expensive basketball shoes that you see other players out here wearing or the ones that you see at the store that are associated with, you know, all-star NBA basketball players and you want to associate yourself with them, pay that super expensive price for high-tech sneakers that you don't yet need. There is a process, there is a hierarchy here. As a beginner, as a new player, 
you should start basic and work your way up. These shoes are a great place to start. They work exactly the way you want them to and they are at a great price. So thank you guys for watching. If you found this video helpful, if you think it's going to help you decide whether or not to give these shoes a shot, then please subscribe to the channel. And like I said, if you're interested in getting exactly these shoes, follow my affiliate links down below so that you don't accidentally get the wrong shoes and then come back at me and say, hey Tony, these shoes are not what you said they were. No, you got the wrong shoes, bro. You should have followed my link so you can get exactly these shoes. You can get different colors if you want, but you will get exactly these shoes. So if you like this review, if you like this kind of content, make sure you subscribe to the channel. This is a small, obscure channel. We don't do workouts. We don't do drills. All we do is basketball advice, real advice, trying to make you the best basketball player you can possibly be. So if you like that kind of material topics, this kind of niche, then please subscribe to the channel. For those of you who already have, thank you guys, appreciate you. Like always, like, share, comment, hit that notification bell so you're notified whenever all of my videos go live. And until then, I will see you guys next week. If I got it, then you want it, I'm fresh as hell. Like LL said, I'm doing well. I'm the next hot phone, you were just an Excel. Got the swag, getting big bags for my clientele. Fit game, flawless. Ice game, flawless. Big bang, y'all know. BBS is on the chain just to spell my name. Hey.